Once upon a timeline in Bollywood, there was a beauty queen who could turn heads faster than the spin cycle on a washing machine. She was crowned with more tiaras than a toddler at a dress-up party. Yet her film career had more pauses than your grandma's Wi-Fi connection. It seemed like every role was like spotting a unicorn, rumored, yet nowhere to be seen. And then out of the blue, just when she thought she'd have to become a professional couch potato, imagine her business cards, came an offer. Okay, not the lead in Bollywood blockbuster 2023, but still a script that required minor reading and major emoting. Somewhere, someone had finally discovered her 11-year-old headshots under a pile of we'll call you maybe resumes. Now our queen, perhaps expecting a role like an avant-garde savior with a cape, found herself being offered a commercial. Yes, all those pageant waves and sachets for a chance to sell soap. But hey, at least it wasn't toilet paper, right? They did say go big or die clean. Laughter echoed in her living room, as if echoing through the halls of failed dreams. She pondered, to soap or not to soap? Hamlet would have contemplated less about being. Yet, in a whirlpool of confusion and an avalanche of anxiety, she chose dignity over dish detergent. No dish soap fame for me, she said. Or maybe that was just indigestion speaking from the box of chocolates she had post-crisis. Again. The suspense was real. Would she end up being the poster child for how to not get cast in Bollywood for over a decade? Rumors flew faster than a Bollywood gossip whisper, suggesting her cameo in the epic Beauty Queen Chronicles, The Phantom Rolls. It looked like everyone except her had a film offer. Even her pet goldfish, Nemo, had secured a Netflix deal. But fear not, because our heroine has become the embodiment of perseverance. She's traded in industry mishaps to become a motivational speaker. Her seminars, how to wait for your big break, literally, so while others queue up for roles, they might as well queue up for queue etiquette classes from her too. Full circle career, or just circling careers? So, dear viewer, what do you think? Was rejecting the role a pageant-worthy act of bravery, or as risky as wearing socks with sandals? Will she ever find the script of her dreams, or is Bollywood saving its weirdest audition yet just for her? Do drop your thoughts faster than a casting director dropping audition slips. Like and subscribe, please.